Hello to everyone, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new point of view. So I'm very pleased today to introduce Samantha Concheria today, which is a Friday, 20, 31st of July. And Samantha Concheria today will be with a two person. Ciao, Cristina. Hi. Oh, Christina. Hello to everyone. Nice hello. to have you all here. It's a new way to, to be connected, but we're very glad to be present. And we also have Enrico Falorni. Hi, Enrico. So, <laughs> so uh, Cristina, I know that today you want to talk about something like hidden detail, hidden information related to contemporaneity, innovation, and also tradition. Yes, so our mood today is talking about innovation, preserving tradition. It means that we are very linked to our background, to our old traditions, our handcraft and our mood and our way to produce our items. And at the same time, we are very much involved in the technological innovation. So this is the reason why I want you to be introduced into a virtual tour of the Henry displaying uh, everything that we make. And uh, this is, it's uh, an occasion for you to visit the Henry from uh, far away. Yeah. So I will start with a video introducing the Henry. So you're gonna see everything from the very beginning. Samantha. So me, I never seen actually. So enjoy. Yeah. So this is our raw material, the drums. Uh, Samantha was founded in the heart of Tuscany in 1973. At first, uh, they were producing smooth baby calf, but soon uh, later they uh, had the intuition uh, of um, trying to the to start uh, the embossing uh, uh, embossing technique uh, so hot embossing on leather and they specialized uh, in uh, reptiles so samantha is uh, very well known around the world uh, for the special characteristics of being a play producer of being a exclusive maker of their own plates which they produce uh, really from the very beginning. Another characteristic is that they control the whole production chain. So from the very beginning of uh, the hair removing from the skins throughout the whole procedure. In, I mean, uh, uh, from embossing to digital printing, finishing, and of course, packing and shipping. So in this uh, section, you see the hand tipping and um, this is a peculiar feature we have and also you're gonna see more regarding the real the preparation of the molds of the plates that uh, we build inside the facility so here again you see our printing machines you're gonna see everything more in details in a few seconds yeah, so I would like to jump inside and make you some questions. So uh, it's really, I'm curious to know more about plates and embossing because, okay. you know, uh, we, we talk about this and, and you told me that your way to make the plates, it's yeah. unique. So um, all embossing processes are made inside the tannery. And uh, the very beginning is the creation of the mold from the real animal, from the reptile, or from uh, uh, the geometric artwork that we want to reproduce on leather. So uh, this starts uh, with the creation of the molds. Um, Samantha was uh, the, one of the first company in the world to have its own embossing machines, galvanic baths, and digital pantograph. Uh, so they're able to create uh, the reproduction of what they want to emboss from uh, uh, mold made in silicon. 
uh, you can see it at the right of the picture, and then I can show you more. These are the silicone molds. You're not gonna see in other tanneries because uh, this is special of Samantha. You see our lab, we have all the tools to reproduce, repeat the patterns, and it's really uh, something very um, nice to see when you see the hand the handwork uh, of the of our artisans. Um, leather, uh, sorry, the molds are put in the galvanic bath which uh, allows the metallic particles to migrate on the surface. And so the final plate is created. This is a, a brief uh, video of the galvanic bath. Uh, it's uh, something really very interesting to see from, uh, from live. Um, here you see one more step in the plate uh, construction. It's, uh, the buffing of the mold. They clean the mold as soon as it comes out of the galvanic bath. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see how carefully it's prepared. Then it's washed. And then at the end, you see the final product. This is the steel plate that is going to be put in the printing, in the embossing machines that reproduces uh, the various patterns we have. We have a wide range of patterns. We have uh, at, at present more than 4,000 different embossing patterns. This is a, a picture of a few items of our archives. You see at the right in the bottom, a detail of a plate. On the left side, you see a crock. And, uh, but as I said before, we can reproduce everything on earth we can reproduce whatever pattern we want. This is uh, uh, the embossing department. Um, you see a panoramic pictures of a couple of machines and uh, you see at the bottom part of the picture the large plate uh, uh, which we use when we want it to not to overlap the embossing of the plates. This is something very peculiar which was a uh, constructed for Samantha especially. It's a plate which is two meters by two meters and this is able to emboss the skins in one shot. So no overlapping of the, you know, of the plates. Uh, this is uh, done of course with heat and pressure and it's a uh, uh, really uh, quick procedure but uh, the result is uh, really, really, um, good. You see here the hand tipping. This is the, the phase after you emboss the leather. Of course, you have to finish. You have to color it. You have to spray and you have uh, to, to give a special, a particular beauty to the leather. You have to apply a hand staining, which is made uh, with uh, uh, soft uh, cloth and uh, with the anilines. And uh, this is, uh, of course, something we do by hand, as you can see. And uh, I can show you uh, a picture that uh, shows a result. You can see how beauty it is on the leather, the two-tone effect and the uh, 3D effect, the depth of the, the two-tone effect and the color. So Enrico is gonna show us uh, a picture of um, a skin. I'm sure you see the croco in details and how Christina, beautiful. What you, Christina, what do you think if you stop sharing? Because All right. it's beautiful to see in detail this, uh, this croco. Because mm -hmm. Erica is showing yeah. to us. Maybe I can suggest to all the participants to click twice uh, over the little window of Enrico. Oh, beautiful. We can see also the shiny mirroring part. It's, it's yes. a kind of shiny brush. Yes, that is the finish that we apply at the end of the procedure. Uh, but uh, in this case, we wanted just to show you the two-tone effect and the depth uh, between the, the scale of the croco and the valleys. And this is uh, done, of course, uh, through the process of hand tamponing or of hand tipping. Um, so we're gonna show you more. 
Of course. And um, let me go back to, to the presentation. Uh, after uh, the hand tipping, uh, we have other techniques uh, to be applied uh, to the skins. And uh, uh, again, in this case, we have uh, all machinery inside the facility. It means that we do not, we do not contract outside uh, the work of uh, digital printing, but we, we have the machinery to, in, to print digitally by ourselves. We have two ways, two different techniques. We have inkjet printing and we have UV printing machinery. They can be used in combination or they can be used alone and they produce uh, different effects on leather. You can see, uh, maybe Enrico is showing us, uh, um, let me show you first uh, the video reproducing. Uh, this is the technique of uh, the digital printing by means of the inkjet. Of course, all the patterns can be customized, all artworks can be made what, in, in which possible way customer wants. It means it, the customers can choose their own colors, their own artworks, their own size and scale on the leather. So this is a, a few examples of what we can reach by means of digital uh, printing. In this case, you see both the embossing of the croco and you see the digital coloration, which uh, of course uh, can be done, as I said, in many, many different ways. Um, again, another example. You can see how vivid the colors are. Uh, our machineries uh, are very, very good in the definition of the patterns. Uh, they use 32 heads in, uh, in the printers. It means that they can reach a, a certain speed when printing, not losing the high definition of the design, which is very important, especially for small details, logo, and other applications that uh, our customers want uh, to make. So I can, show you now the other um, technique, which is the UV printing machine. Uh, this is uh, something different. It um, uh, prints uh, on the skins one, once the skins is completed. So in the, other, in, the other, in the first case, in the injector, we use leather and we apply a sort of tattoo on the skin. In this second case, we apply uh, this UV technique with uh, uh, different uh, uh, method. It means that we apply a layer on the top of the skin, which uh, can be, um, which can uh, make you see the three, 3D effect on the skin. So we can work, uh, of course, also on metallic, uh, on whatever finish we have. You can see the details here. It uh, looks like an embroidery. It's uh, very special because it's thick. It's 3, 3D effect. Um, beautiful. Yes, so, this is something really uh, beautiful. You mean in this case, you have the high definition of the color and the printing, but also respecting the different thickness. Yes. And we, also the metallics. And we, can, uh, and we can print on metallic as well. So in... Uh, in a few words, we can reproduce everything with uh, really uh, a lot of tones and a lot of depths on the skin. So in this case, I have a question. The designer give to you the pattern, the picture. Yes. And in which, in which way do you already need some very high definition design and pattern? So we usually ask uh, customers to uh, give us uh, uh, TIF files or um, AI files, so in certain formats, very well defined, or vectorials, whatever they want. And, now, and then we have our digital department rework on the files and adapt them to the skins. 
So we desaturate colors, we increase the light, we change the colors, and we adapt the technique to the skins, to the various embossing or smooth leather we have to be reproduced. So this is very interesting and very unique. Um, so now I want briefly show you our range of products. Of course, in these uh, more than 40 years of production, you can imagine how many finishings and how many patterns uh, we have. Our crocodiles and lizards go from the very small baby, baby croc or baby lizard to the big giant animals. And uh, this allows us uh, to cover a whole range of production. Uh, it means uh, from, I mean, from uh, handbag production, shoe production, um, bracelets, whatever. Because of course, pattern can cover the whole production range. So um, our collection uh, consists in uh, several products, of course, that. Uh, Go back to tradition. I'm, I'm talking about tradition when I speak regarding classic crocodiles or uh, pythons. We're gonna show you a couple of examples now um, to let you see how beauty the leather is. Let me. Perfect. I like to see the pictures of er Enrico. Oh, if Enrico stop a little while, we can also see the deepness. Yes. Of, uh, of the thickness of the embossing, it's real. This is look it like- It looks like real, you know, the embossing technique and then the hand stain technique and the finish gives a really uh, beautiful aspect to the skins. And they, all these processes make the leather look like the real animal. Yeah, of course it's a real leather in this case. Of and course. But I'm talking of, of yeah. real alligators and, yeah. and uh, lizards, of course. Of course. And so I you can show us maybe a python, uh, if you have, so that you can see the softness of the, of the pythons and uh, how nice the details are. Our pythons are made with a special technique, with a cut-through scales which makes the surface really broken as the real snake scale. So if you touch them, you can feel the real thing. I can feel it. Yes. And I can yeah. also see this brightness. It's, yeah. it's very soft. It's yeah. realistic. So yes, much. most of the times it's uh, a little difficult to have very shiny items and soft items at the same time. In our case, our special techniques allow us to have both characteristics together. So our skins, our leathers are soft and shiny. Right. So I go back to the presentation now to let you see a couple of more things. Yes, of course. <laughs> So these are a couple of new features I wanted to show you for the new season. Um, this is, the first is a, a Napa leather, which means very soft, as I said before. Uh, it's a lizard embossed in this case. And as you can see, it's uh, prepared at uh, a weight of 1.1 millimeters, 1.2, but still it's very, very soft. So this is something very good uh, in, in terms of softness and uh, resistance and uh, shiny at the same time. Um, the other technique I wanted to show you is something else uh, new. It's uh, something we developed with a silicone layer on underneath, which is very good uh, for belt making or shoe crimping, very resistant. So this leather, it, at, the, at the same time, is stiff, but it's resistant and it's very good when you pull, when you pull the construction of the shoes, for example. Yeah, this uh, then we have um, 
our season inspiration. So um, it's uh, regarding uh, the new colors we are presenting. So we based ourselves on a few. Christina, this is, you are anticipating the collection for. Yes, it's something we want to show you a, a bit of our collection. Of course, we cannot share everything in this occasion, but of course uh, I invite you all if you're interested in, in interested in sending us an email and we can uh, share um, swatches or color cards uh, in case you're interested. I just wanted to make, uh, you know, to, to share uh, a part of our mood in this season, which shows uh, the colors we are preparing and uh, which introduces the new collection, which of course we're gonna present at Linea Pelle, the new Linea Pelle, the, a new the, point of view. the new point of view in September. So usually um, this time of the year, we have only uh, a small part of the collection ready. Everything is generally completed in September. And uh, of course, we're gonna show everything we have uh, at the new point of view show, which is gonna be held in September. So I, I want to show you now a few of our novelties. So Enrico can uh, maybe let you see what uh, we have. Give yeah. me a second, sorry. Yeah, but Enrico is already showing us beautiful yes. things. I see in this kind of reptile with the gold scales. Yes, uh, what these about are a, a few Hmm. Examples of our new colors. This is, uh, for instance, uh, goat skin that has uh, a very vivid coloration made uh, with digital printing. You can see it's, uh, it looks like it's stained and it's uh, very vivid in color and uh, very shiny and also very soft. May we say something watery effect? Yes, the watery effect, like stain effect uh, uh, with a lot of tones, which of course can be customized uh, according to customers' needs. Because uh, as I said, we can prepare a tailor-made skin for whatever possible uh, usage. Uh, in this case, for instance, uh, we're downsizing the patterns in case of a shoe production, or we can enlarge in case of a big handbags production. This is another technique. It's a flocked technique that uh, is applied on metal. So it's sort of velour applied on a base of metallic uh, film. And I, can, and I can see that you keep and maintain the softness. The yes. And it, this kind of a different flocking. Yes. So the flocking is something we, we're gonna present on our pythons, of course. So we're gonna have a, a few different designs and uh, in several colors in terms of base and on top color. So we can uh, customize again colors upon request. I then, have a question, I have a question, just yeah. curiosity. Flocks sometimes can have different type of fit, thickness. Yes. Or different types of uh, hairy. So do you have something that we can choose as a yes. designer? You can choose the height, you can choose the type, the, the size and the um, softness and the height of the flocking. Okay. So this is something we can personalize. This is another technique which we are applying by hand on the skins. It has at the same time the pearlized effect and the gold effect, you see the metal effect. So this is made partially by digital printing and then with the other application on the top that show pearlized effect and uh, metallic effect all at the same time and still again the leather is very soft as you can see yes. so as um, last thing i wanted to show you our
commitment uh, to the environment uh, and uh, of course uh, to sustainability energy saving um samantha is um very much committed in uh, environment uh, uh, preservation so the tannery underwent recently a huge renovation process that allowed 25 percent savings in chemicals and 30 percent savings in energy so they implemented uh, new spray machines new production chains that allowed us uh, to be uh, very innovative and very and much more efficient they increased uh, uh, potential capacity for production and also uh, they reached samantha reached a very good and uh, high goal in terms of savings um, we also developed uh, um, a free metal uh, line, production line. The products, of course, are designed to be environmental friendly and, uh, and guarantee energy saving. I, I want to show you a couple of examples. So the same thing that we showed you before in the traditional uh, chrome tannage can be made in the chrome free tannage and the metal free finish it means that this leather is totally metal free it's metal free as far as the tanning part is concerned and in as far as in the finishing part is concerned so totally free of metal both in the ingredients of the tanning and in the coloration which is something of course that now is very much appreciated uh, we were awarded uh, uh, in 2018 uh, in, uh, with a bronze uh, medal in LWG. Uh, we were supposed uh, to be audited for the silver medal in uh, last April, but of course, uh, with the shutdown due to the COVID-19, uh, we, we had to postpone everything to next year. So. Uh, but we are striving and we are gonna have the audit next year for the silver medal. So our last commitment uh, is uh, in the social uh, field. Um, we have an award that uh, it was uh, uh, instituted when uh, um, Mr. Gronke, the founder of Samantha passed away in 2013. He was, uh, very much convinced that, uh, of course, the, the young people is very important. The new generation have to be helped. So uh, in his memory, the tannery is granting every year a contribution to uh, the best student of uh, a technical institute here in the area of Santa Croce. And so we are very proud of sharing with you the commitment we have for the new generation. So I think it's uh, everything for the moment. I invite you again to send us uh, comments or send us uh, emails uh, with questions or uh, requests uh, for color cards, swatches, and any information you might need regarding our techniques and our items. So Christina, I can say that this was so informative because all of us learned a lot. So, and really, I, I appreciate that you open this virtual tour to see some, I don't want to say hidden things, but something that is related to one of your speciality. So designer can be more and more prepared when they ask you, uh, when they evaluate the quality and also they understand what you propose yes it's uh it's uh, very common for us uh, to have uh, teams of our uh, of the major companies we're working with visiting the tanneries and uh, we are glad to show normally our production faces because it's uh, very important for the people uh, that uh, request the samples or want to explore our world to know every step of the production. So 
I hope this tour um, showed you a, a small part of what we're doing. This is our special characteristic. So everything is inside the tannery. So if you visit our tannery, you can see the whole process from the beginning to the very end. So, so let me say thank you so much. Thanks to Enrico as well. And thanks to all the participants. So I invite all of you to a new point of view next September when we yes. will have our physical, our uh, Enrico and Christina all together. They join. Sure. The we will be glad to welcome you in the next uh, new point of view show in September in Milan. For sure. We will be offline and online for sure because uh, I'm sure we will see many other things for your collection. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, Thank you're you welcome. for being with us. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone.